Have you noticed that you actually are starting to manifest things you never thought you could? Or that synchronicities are lining up really fast and you're kind of catching a way that you might even call being in the flow, even if it's for a little while? And are you noticing and feeling just a, 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 a general uplifting? Even if it doesn't last for long and you might crash right back to the ground after and feel like I'm so stuck and demoralized, but there are these breakthroughs coming in that are very unfamiliar. Well, welcome to new you, new five dimension, fifth dimension, new you. You are moving up. We are all in the midst of a huge energetic transformation. It's called New Earth. 5D, 3D to 5D. I've been talking about it for some little while and will continue because I am guided by my beautiful channel guides, the emissaries of the third ray, the second octave of love. They're helping us all, like many, many light beings are helping us, just flooding the psychic airwaves, helping us find our new energetic sea legs in this new fifth dimension experience of us. And one of the ways that we are spontaneously stepping into this, even if we weren't really imagining that we could, is that we're starting to manifest very effectively things that we want. Now, you might not be noticing the big level things just yet, or maybe you are, but you might be noticing a lot of little things I want a parking space. Bam, there it is. I want to get a really good seat on my next flight. I want a window seat. Bam, I got it, even though it was massively oversold. I would love to go out to dinner tonight with a friend, even though I have no plans. Bam, someone calls me. These little deals need to be noticed because what I've noticed and what I want to point out to you and I'd been working with people so closely for so long, is that we tend to have these little mini miracles happening all the time, and we forget them. We dismiss them. It's like, oh, that was weird, or that was fun, or that, and then go right back to the old frame of mind, back to that old 3D. My name's Sonia Choquette. Welcome to my channel. Let's keep the magic moving. That's what we're going to talk to you about today as we move into new earth, the new 5D experience of you, new earth, new you. It's happening. It's not way down the line. You are beginning to experience the flows of this. You probably were guided here. And if you were, stop and think about that. It's part of these little synchronicities that that I've shared and and acknowledge that. It was like, wow, how did I end up here? It's perfect. And notice it's a big deal. Even though it was a little deal, it makes a big difference. And if you're coming back, welcome back. Of course, we've been on quite the journey. I'm so excited to continue this with you as we learn more and more on how to navigate ourselves as 5D beings. Now, we might bounce back and forth between 3, 4, and 5. I've mentioned it before, but I'll just lay it out again. 3D is in the ego, very much in fighting mode, fighting mood, fighting mode. It's isolation, victim, insecure, bummer, negative, heavy, unhappy, stressed, fearful. Fourth dimension, curious, open, suspicious a little, but want to learn, seeking. That's a big one. I want more answers, but still I heavily ego and intellect driven. And then all of a sudden, it's like ending up in Disneyland or, or, or in Oz. All of a sudden, I'm in a different planet. I'm in a whole different experience. For one, I'm pretty psychic. I'm starting to pick up things all the time. I'm feeling things. It's not, I'm not making it up. It's very real. And I'm going to listen. But even more exciting, I'm making stuff happen. Things I want. Little things that are ways to become more and more proficient in manifesting. So I invite you to think about in the last two weeks, what have you manifested? That was just fabulous. 
to be, and don't, again, don't look for a big thing, although feel free and please share it in the comments below if you did manifest a big thing. Please, please, please write it down because the more you name it, the more you claim it. And what you're going to recognize is how many fabulous things are happening that you're kind of blotting out. When I ask my students to start talking about what I, I when I do mentoring, because I mentor people and I teach people all the time to how to live at this fantastic frequency, I always ask, what's the best thing that happened to you this week? And they have to pause. Whoa. And then they'll tell me some phenomenal breakthrough experience. For example, I had a client who's had this very contentious, very demoralizing experience with her father her whole life. He was a good man, but very military, very scientific, very heavy-handed, dismissed her spiritual interests and her way of seeing things as, as fluff and frou-frou and absolutely laughed at everything she did as a life coach and wasn't at all inclined to give her a lick of credit for anything. And she just suffered that frustration. So I asked her last week, what's the best thing that happened to you? And she said, oh my God, my father and mother had a huge meltdown in their relationship and they asked for my advice. And my dad actually listened. And then he wrote me later and said, thank you, A and B, how proud I am and how smart you are. I said, my God, that is Beyond, that has been such a big, big, big frustrating complaint of yours. And you couldn't even remember it for a few minutes. She said, you're right. It was so big and I didn't act like it was a big deal and it was huge. So this is why I want you to stop right now. What's the biggest deal you manifested recently? Now, don't be competitive. Maybe it is that I just turned the corner and got it parking spot at the in the overcrowded parking lot and got just in the front row big deal to me everything's a big deal because it makes a big difference in affirming you are able to create in the moment as you go another client of mine said the best thing that happened to me was that I haven't talked to my grandson we had a falling out 20 years ago and he called me and apologized now again when I said, what's the best thing that happened? That was nuts. She took a minute. It didn't pop up, even though that's radical. Healing, connecting, soothes the heart, makes life better. She was nearly sobbing when she told me. But your ego brain will blot it out. So this 5D, we have to start changing our paradigm. Instead of what's wrong with this picture, which the ego is constantly pointing out, we need to start asking, what's the best thing that's happening right now? What fabulous good thing is happening right now? We're not, we we'll have to wait till the future to manifest. We're manifesting and the more we manifest a little bit now, the more we can manifest a little bit more. Next step and next step and next step. So part of the paradigm shift Part of the massive shift of consciousness that needs to go along with 3D to 5D is 3D is, why is this happening to me? Oh my God, I'm suffering. Victim, pain, hurt, genuine sorrow to 5D. Hmm, why is this happening? Not to me, but for me. That's the big difference. 3D, why is this happening to me? Why can't I get a break? Why can't I catch a break? Why is everything against me? I've been there plenty. We all have. That's just what we were raised in. But 5D, hmm, why is this happening? And if you really want to stretch it, the question goes, for me, what good is happening? And we start looking at the good stuff. I think you'll be shocked at how much good is actually happening. This is one of the reasons why gratitude is so emphasized because it actually invites you to notice the good stuff. Whereas the ego just blots and blots it out like big ink blotters, blah, 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 ah, out. I'm just going to be in the dark suffering. So we have to train our brain. 
it is a it is a physically a hardwired thing it has it's you know the same highways we're going trouble trouble more trouble dead end trouble to hey i'm lifting out i'm not even going to be in the weeds i'm lifting up and i'm taking off so this new perspective and this becomes a habit if you try this for 21 days as a habit what's the best thing that happened to me today what is the best thing even today i traveled with my family and granddaughter who's constantly as a little baby getting motion sickness in a car for an hour not a problem hooray best thing might be no big deal for some but when you're in it it's awful didn't happen best thing and so many other best things you know it's always going to be a bunch of little deals with these big deals mixed in have you had any spontaneous healings or have you had any immediate ahas that just say i don't want to be in this relationship anymore it sucks it's not good for me all of a sudden i am recognizing that i'm not going to get what i want here and it's not because there's i'm not okay it's because we're not a match we are we want two different things we are in two different levels of consciousness you know sometimes even a big drama can be a gift sometimes a big blowout a big fight a big disaster actually is a big emergence of of energy that has been buried and it finds its way to the surface because as Carl Jung says and I'm going to move my tripod a little more the light Carl Jung says cannot heal what you cannot reveal so if you're having a big yucks, maybe it's old stuff that wants to be revealed so it can move on. That's the best thing that's happening today. You know, 5D living is a whole, it's like learning to be a human in a whole new way. We do it in bite sizes, bit by bit. And as we work with these bite sizes, we begin to see and think and do things differently so what's the best thing that happened to you today what did you manifest today what a new concept just to think of yourself as a manifester what did you manifest today that's wonderful what bright idea popped into your brain that's wonderful what inspiration came through what glorious experience and that bright idea intuitive thought aha Another client of mine this week said, I got this brand new idea to write a musical. And I got the whole story. How fabulous. And she said, and you know what? I can do it. It's making me so happy. I have another friend who completely got this download to reinvent his life, change his profession, change his name, change everything, and become a movie script writer and just wrote his first movie. We're not blocked in. We don't have to be stuck in an old identity. That's the magic of the fifth dimension. We're light beings. We can be light shows. We can change it up, bring in new energy, bring in new light. But we have to notice what's the best thing that happened to you today? What is the best creation that you manifested today? What is the best creation? If you want to learn about creation and you want to learn a little bit more about how to make it happen, I have two really good books. Tune In really helps you lead that third dimension, get into the fifth, and my book, Your Heart's Desire. Classic. It's fabulous because it's organized and simple. Now, we get so bogged down and get so complicated and heavy, and I forget, but if you just do step by step by step by step, new creation today. So this is my message, and if you're here, please, if you've enjoyed it, subscribe. Stick with us. Go watch some of the other videos. We are working and learning to be in the fifth dimension. It's brand new living. It is learning to be in the world, in our bodies, in our emotions, in our consciousness, in a brand new, exciting, empowering way. Day by day, bit by bit, step by step. 
So that's my message for today. I am also channeling the emissaries of the third ray, second octave of love, because these light beings are coming through. There's so many coming through. These are our teachers, tutors, and guides. They wrote my book, Soul Lessons and Soul Purpose. And if you want to read that, that's another one that's a fan has. So come to my website if you want to join the Vibe Tribe, the Good Vibe Tribe, because we meet every day. There's We don't have to do this to get alone. That's the old way. That is so third dimension. Let's do things the new earth, new you vibe. All my love, I hope I see you next week. Subscribe, please like, tell your friends, share this, because frankly, the truth is the more the merrier and the more in your life who get on board, the merrier. All my love, see you next week.